In this example, we're going to show you how to use an 8 pound optical fingerprint reader connected to an Arduino and in BitBang 26 bit Wigand to an ACU. So, the software, I'm not going to go all the ins and outs of it. You can, this will be available for download, but basically defines and includes at the top. The only thing we're including is the software serial to talk to the device and the Adafruit fingerprint library for dealing with fingerprint templates, transmitting and receiving data. Um, a type def structure for fingerprint template numbers, as in the Wigan number that will be sent. So ID1 would send out this number, ID2 would send this number, so on and so forth. The setup for the pin modes, get fingerprint data, delete all fingerprints, Register a fingerprint. Um, access permitted and denied uh, LED status. Write D0, write D1 for bit banging 26 bit Wigand, and then the actual send Wigand section here. And then just below that is the loop that's constantly checking whether you place a finger or whether I uh, pull a pin low to either delete all the fingerprint templates or add a new one. And right down the bottom is just a test loop um, to send all, to, all uh, numbers that are stored directly to the ACU without the fingerprint. So this can just send our ID 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so on and so on. Okay, so that's the code. As I said, that will be available uh, for download for free. Just want to point out there are various types of these readers. Uh, some are 3 volts, some are 5 volts. Some have a loom of eight cables, some have a loom of six. So it just depends on what one you buy. Just check the specification to make sure you're using the correct voltages and that the pinouts are, you know, what colors, what color cores you need to use for what. Basically, all we've got is power on this specific device is the um, JM101. And I have put a PDF and images for pinouts for this specific one that I'm using. But basically, the orange cable from the reader and the white cable for the reader are for TX and RX communications. The blue cable and the purple cable are for uh, 5 volts and ground. But as I said, depending on what one you buy, that could vary. So it's just a matter of checking. I've then got the orange, uh, the white and the black, which is then connected to the ACU, which is which is what will send the 26-bit Wigand. And this um, trading wire is just to pull a pin low for me to delete all the fingerprint templates or add another one. So I've currently got a finger registered. So if I just drag net2 across, see the last event was uh, 1718. I put the finger on that's all registered. Click, flash an LED as you just saw there. 26-bit Wigand. Uh, New event has just come through 1722. So in this example, to delete all fingerprint te uh, fingerprint templates, I'm going to pull pin five low. This will then light up the LED. And now the fingerprint that I just used, or the finger I just used, should I say, it will just light up once and nothing. All fingerprints have been deleted. If I now pull pin six low. The LED lights up, I place the finger I want to scan, I remove, it lights up again, I place it again, it starts flashing to say that that fingerprint enrollment was successful, and now when I place my finger again, it then sends that ID number uh, for the profile that I've currently got set up within Net2. So that's a real quick overview of buying an 8 pan fingerprint reader off of eBay connecting it to an Arduino Uno, and then sending 26-bit Wigand to an ACU. Thanks for watching.